fired up and ready to go. First up are two friends who are here to pitch a premium skincare business inspired by Africa and its wealth of natural ingredients. I can feel my heart actually jumping. Maria and I have known each other for just over 15 years. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We're both of African heritage, um, so we're sharing the vision together. They're hoping for a beautiful partnership with one dragon in particular. Ted, she's got um, a vitamin company, which is really interesting um, because our brand is all about um, skin health. We might even dance our way out <laughs> if he was our dragon. The dancer goes something like this. <laughs> it would literally be oh, but like <laughs> times a million. <laughs> I'm Maria Magembe. And I am Helen Laomina. And we are co-founders of Daughter of the Soil Skincare. We are seeking £60,000 in exchange for 10% equity. My great-grandmother Unyang, who was a widow in eastern Uganda, created shear-based and sesame-based skincare products. Unyang was a midwife in the village who rubbed her body butters and oils on the bellies of pregnant women and also on young children. My mother's memories of her is what inspired Daughter of the Soil. Our journey from creation to launch is completed. To date, our products are placed in premium uh, department stores, John, Bell and Croydon and Fennec. In the last four months, our sales are £12,000. By the end of year one, our sales will have reached £500,000 by building our national and international sales distribution. Thank you for listening and we welcome any questions. Can we see some samples? Absolutely. Thanks. Great question. <laughs> it's a passionate pitch from Helen Laomina and Maria Magembe, who are hoping for £60,000 for a 10% share of their African-inspired skincare range. First up is Jenny Campbell, wow. who wants to know more about the evolution of the pair's business. What a beautiful story. I Thank almost you. thought you were going to sing it to me then. <laughs> I was feeling a lullaby coming on or something. It was be beautiful. Thank well you done. very much. Thank you. Um, when you said you'd come from design to launch, well, what were you uh, girls doing before design? So uh, my experience is in uh, management consultancy, project management. So from corporate world to entrepreneur. Huh? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> and and uh, Helen? Yes, yeah, so similarly, my background is really commercial. So I've worked in finance for a number of years, but in analytical teams. OK. So, how have you been doing then? So you're into two department stores. I didn't recognise the one in Croydon, I'm so sorry. it's John Bell and John Croydon, Croydon, which is okay. in uh, central London. Yeah. OK, all right. So, where are these made? So, ma yeah. 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 <laughs> so, our products are manufactured in Morecambe, Lancashire. Okay. Um, yeah, so... OK, so. tell me the price of this box or some individual products so I can get a feel for where it yes. sits. Yes, so the body butters are retailing at £32. And the body wash and the um, hand wash are retailing at £18. And OK, and those, that, that as a presentation box would cost? Yeah, it would be much? 80, 86 pounds. All right, OK. That's a really nice present, actually. You're in some of these places and you've only turned over an average about 3,000 pounds a month. So, it's so one of the things that we've done, so we've focused really on getting into the bigger accounts. So, for example, John Bell and Croydon, we've been live for two months so far. Great. And how much business have they done on a weekly basis since launch? So, they're still, it's still quite lo slow at the moment. They're doing what, about six. So, they've ordered uh, 18 units of each. 18 units? Yeah, one eight. Um, that's, that's terrible, isn't it? Well, it's one store, so it's 18 units, but then they expect actually that the Over what period? So, um, over, the last two, over the last two months. Two months? Yeah, so they are, due, they are due just to... Just over one product a day. So we've done the sales training quite recently, so no, I think... but is that right? I just... It is challenging and we are... No, 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 you need to answer my question, please. I'm giving you a hard time yeah. because you, you, what you do is you're going into sales and marketing mode rather than actually answering the question. So we, we would like to do better. So I, I'm not, I understand all that, but that's not my question. Have they sold just over one product a day in that store? 
if you said to me you were in Harrods or you were in Harvey Nichols beauty department where the customer would go to find that, that sort of product, I would understand. But Jembel of Croydon is a chemist and they sell a lot of specialized products. It's like putting eggs in an ice cream parlor. You know? I disagree, actually, Tuka. Um, John Bell and Croydon is a flagship pharmacy store that sells a lot of cosmetics. Um, what? They take vitamins, they take medicines. Medicine, um, yes. Uh, yeah, Not and, cosmetics. and it, is, it is a premium flagship well, store. Well, I disagree with you. It's a specialty chemist. Tuka, you don't know what you're talking about. Great, you got to invest in, are you? Well, no, I'm just, I'm just no, trying I'm to correct. You. I think okay. it's a good store they've gone into. They've launched okay, there. Okay. Anyway, so that's point one. Point two: um, that in each one of your products, you've got about sixty different ingredients, in it. and yet you talk about it's so natural. We only use natural and naturally derived ingredients. Uh, sixty percent of them will be all non-active ingredients anyway. I think today should be focused on Tej because he likes where you are, he wants to be, he's looking at you, he knows the product, you've got a guaranteed investment today. Tuka Suleiman crosses swords with the duo's favoured dragon, Tej Lalvani. But will the healthcare mogul be willing to share his enviable book of contacts with the skincare entrepreneurs? It's, it's so competitive, the cosmetic industry, yes. right? And your plans for £500,000 sales in the first year is way too ambitious. OK. What, what's your plan B if you don't hit your sales target? How much, how much money have you got to, to keep going? So we've got, we're quite, you know, we're, we we're are... About £20,000 at the moment. And how much have you invested so far in the business? £160,000. How much? £160,000. £160,000. Wow. Where did you get the money from? So we've used some of our own sort of funds, P parents, pen parents, <laughs> family and friends, pensions. So, so where, where did all that money go? Branding. Branding, IP. The IP, what, what's the expense on IP? IP was about... Um, £4,000, yeah. yeah. £4,000 to do what? To protect our, the name, so Daughter of the Soil, we've trademarked the to name. Trademark, you've got £4,000, no, that's impossible. It cost you a couple of hundred quid to register a trademark. We did it via some solicitors. What? I think you got ripped off there, by the way. Mm. £4,000 to get a trademark registered. A patent will cost you cheaper than that, probably. Um, look, so you gave us some prices of the retail. Um, I want to understand your margins. So £32 for one of the products. How much does that cost you? So that costs us £9. What's your wholesale price on that? How much is it for? £13. Wow, your margin is practically zero. But you're going to run out of cash very quickly with that margin. You're not going to fund promotions, advertising, marketing support. You've priced it completely wrong. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, but uh, just for that reason only, I'm out. So the dragon, the entrepreneurs hoped, would take their brand to the beauty big time, opts not to bankroll the deal. And now, there's something about the product that appears to be rubbing Peter Jones up the wrong way. I've tried all the products, and I know this is very hard, but I've, I've got to tell you, this one here, this the sheer body butter, it, it smells of tea leaves that's just sat in a teacup. I do think you should go back to the drawing board and think about some of these products, because if I'm just one person, I do believe you're going to have others. And that's not good. Not everybody is going to like every product, but I've not often put a product on my hand such as this and actually disliked it. OK. OK. I'm sorry, I can't invest. I'm out. OK. Maria, Helen, hello. Hi. I'm Deborah. Hi, Deborah. <laughs> Two people out before I've even said anything. Um, now, this is personal. I like this. I think the sheer butter is lovely. Thank you so oh, much. Thank you. <laughs> and I love Daughters of the Soil. However, there's a question. Is it organic? 
No. So we have some organic ingredients, but we were happy with it being 100% naturally derived. I feared, feared you were going to say that. Because I think if you're going to do this, you need to go the whole hog. Okay, so okay. I'm not going to be critical. I like that. But I'm afraid I won't be investing. I'm out. Another knockout blow as Deborah Meaden dismisses a deal. Her exit leaves the floor open to two remaining dragons. But will the entrepreneurs have the fight to carry on? How are you feeling, ladies? Oh, hopeful. <laughs> hopeful. You know, yeah, I mean, I think we're, we're the type of people who are willing to learn. We might have made some mistakes. We accept that we just were looking for somebody to just help us to get there. We really believe in this and we'll do whatever it takes. Maria, does, does your emotion come from your deep passion and belief in this product? Absolutely, 100%. Or is it because you feel you're at a junction now where this is make or break? It's from passion. <laughs> it's absolutely 100% from passion. You are very investable as a couple, you really are. And there's a lot, lot that you've done right. Thank you. <laughs> OK, it's OK. <laughs> I'm thinking. Jenny Campbell hints at investment, but isn't yet ready to commit the cash to Maria and Helen. Is high street retailer Tuka Suleiman willing to flesh out a deal? There are two aspects a dragon invests in. One is the people. Yeah. Two is the idea or the product. So. You girls are very investable. Oh, thank you. However, when I look at the numbers, it makes me want to run the other way. OK. And for that reason, I'm out. Another loss, leaving just one person able to rescue Maria and Helen's investment dreams. Will Jenny Campbell be prepared to gloss over the worries about the business's profitability and offer up the £60,000 they're looking for? You know, the, uh, ladies, the thing that's sort of crossing and going past my mind is you, you do come from business-related backgrounds, and so it's, it sort of surprises me if, t if you take something that costs you £9, you kind of think it's OK to wholesale it at 13. That, that's disastrous. So just, just to explain some of that, by year two, the pricing, actually, the cost of the products will go down to half. It'll only go to half if you obviously do the volume that you said in, in year one. Absolutely. Waitrose said 10 stores in the UAE. There's a lot of work. In the yes, UAE? In the UAE, so we'll, we'll travel okay, to Dubai. So look, th this is the sort of... Um, unfortunately the naivety that's got you to where you are now and the answer then wasn't to go we can get into the UAE it would be to crack the UK first absolutely. yeah you are just you, you you just way too all sort over of, the place absolutely <laughs> you know I, I'm like this because you know I love you ladies But at this stage, it's not investable. I'm sorry, I'm out. Thank you. Maria and Helen came close, but in the end, they just couldn't convince the dragons to take a chance on their beauty business, and they leave the den with nothing. If they hadn't have shown so much naivety across so many, points of the business, then I, I could have gone for a, you know, a big equity's sake. They need to go back a few steps before they can go forward, I think. We can do this. Yeah, we can. Go on our own, but we can do this. In the UAE.